What's up, guys? Today I'll be analyzing an upcoming fight, potential upcoming fight, Conor McGregor versus Anderson Silva. We're not sure if this fight is going to go through. Anderson Silva said he wanted to fight Conor McGregor 176 pounds. Conor tweeted out, I accept. So it's up to Dana White now to uh, finalize this fight. And looking at his record, Conor, obviously on sure dog here, everyone can access this for free. This is, uh, looking at his record, 22-4, and four, two losses in the UFC, and look how many fights he's had from this point on. I mean, win, 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 loss, win, win, loss, win. And his most recent fight was against Donald Cerrone at 170. He looks like he's filling in his frame much better than I expected at Walter Wade. So, we're going to see how this fight goes through. If it does, watch out. Fireworks, man. And this is uh, Anderson Silva's recent record. Uh, look at that. Last. So, I mean, look at, his re look at his record here. This is what Connor says. He's the great. Look at that win streak there. It's just... Just crazy, just crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, he's and look at the names he's beating: Forrest Griffin, Damien Maya, Chael Sonnen, Vitor Belfort, Chael Sonnen again, Stephen Bonner at, at that was Stephen Bonner at, at light heavyweight. I think I'm pretty sure because Stephen's a light heavyweight. So that's just crazy. And this is why Connor wants this fight. He says he's the greatest of all time, 34 and 10. He's lost out of his last, what is that? I think that's eight fights. He's lost six of them. One, one of them won another with Nick Diaz, but that was a no contest overturned by NSAC because he did test positive for steroids. So just looking at the size difference, 6'2 six, six versus 5'9. That's a make that's a big big size height difference. Uh, weight wise, also Diaz. I mean, Diaz Silva is much bigger than Connor weight wise, but that's not saying that Connor can't be efficient at welterweight. He can't be. He can be very efficient at welterweight. We've seen his recent fights. He can fight pretty well at welterweight. And this is just the fight I've seen on uh, the UFC's uh, YouTube page. You can go check it out. It's free. So I'm just gonna pause this here. So this is uh, Silver versus uh, An Anasanya. This is a really recent fight. 185 for the belt. I believe it's... Actually, no, it's not for the belt. You bought Felt Whitaker for the belt. Or, yeah. <clears throat> so, Silva here. Look, he's calm. He's, he, and and Anasanya is 6'4". So, the height difference is a little bit different. You can see the speed, which Silva, he, he, he's, he's moving pretty well for a, a big dude like that. Uh, but he obviously he doesn't come forward to the point where he starts throwing strikes. He's he likes to counter punch, and he often if you watch his fights for the first few minutes he doesn't throw much, and here he's bull rushing him trying to close the gap. I guess this is where Connor can can be efficient in this kickboxing range. He can hurt the uh, Silva with 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 his power, but the size difference for me is is the big question. Can he can he uh, hurt Diaz uh, Silva? Can he hurt him and can he put him away? That is the big question. Can he put him away? Can he kick him? Can he throw these wild strikes? And uh, you know, look at that. Look at his striking here. Silva does put a lot of pressure. If Connor starts to get tired against Silva, it could be a big problem for him. Uh, they, and I assume this will be a five-round fight. It will probably be a main event since Connor's fighting. Um, but Connor's like he's fast, dude. He's fast. He can punch hard, and he's fast. Everyone who's fought him knows he can punch hard. Knows he can he can put a lot of pressure on on Silva, and try to look to uh, try to look to to uh, put him away. That's I don't think he wants to go five rounds. And Silva is a great kickboxer. Looking at the way he just evades uh, Adesanya's kicks. Um, he's, he, he has a lot of experience, but, um, this is, this can be, Silva can do this for five rounds though. That's the, that's the big question mark. He can do this for five rounds. He's done it before. He has a lot of experience, a lot of experience. So one mistake Connor does, it could be huge. That's his, that's what I think. I think one mistake for Connor could be huge. 
But he's got so much to win here. He's got a lot to win. He's got a lot to win because Silva is the, the GOAT in his mind. He's got so much to win. So this is what I think. Um, you know, Connor has to, to move, evade Silva's striking and try to counter. Trying to come over top, trying to attack those legs, uh, catch him with something wild. I, I, I don't think he would get caught with something wild, Silva, because Adesanya does tend to do that stuff too. And here you see a lot of trash talking. Connor can get inside Silva's head, I think. I think he could get inside Silva's head. But it would be interesting to see what kind of approach he would have in the uh, in the in the in the uh, pre-fight, you know, like uh, you know, just interviewing him and, and having that po uh, press conference. Where I'm looking for, it would be interesting to see the approach he would have in the press conference. Um, it would be very interesting to see the, the approach he would have in the press conference. Um, because against Donald Cerrone, he didn't trash talk much. He, he, he was humble and he paid respect to him. And he said, well, let's fight, you know. And he fought and he beat him. So, uh, against Silva, let's see if we try to get in Silva's head. But this is what I think. If this fight goes through, Conor has to be, have a, probably, probably have a three-month uh, training camp. But, but yeah, Conor has to come prepared. He has to be sharp. And he has to uh, stay mentally in it and, and, and not give up. He just can't give up. He has to be cut clean and, and, and be be very uh, efficient with his striking and don't blow himself out in the first two rounds because Silva can be dangerous throughout the whole fight. This is what I think, guys. Thanks for watching and peace.